All right, in this video, we're going to do an example of finding the height of an object. Um, and we're just simply going to use some basic trigonometry to help us do this. So suppose um, suppose you're, you're just chilling out, you know, watching a balloon go up in the air because you got nothing else to do. Suppose uh, that you're able to measure this distance from you, this horizontal distance from you to the balloon, and that's 2,000 feet. Suppose also you've got, you know, you happen to have some surveying equipment laying around and you get a little angle of 30 degrees to the balloon. We want to know what's the height of the balloon. So this is certainly very useful, practical, um, normal types of questions out there in engineering. Um, you know, you know, anytime people are making buildings or roads, they're definitely doing all this stuff, just making measurements and angles. So certainly very practical math here. So um, okay, again, to me, we're trying to figure out um, this height. So. Here's my little angle that I'm given in this problem. So 2,000 feet, that would represent um, stuff about the adjacent side. Um, and this ang the, the height would represent sort of the, uh, the opposite side. So I'm thinking, which of the trig, uh, trig functions relates opposite sides and adjacent sides? Well, there's actually two of them. Uh, but the one I'm going to use here is just tangent. So remember, tangent um, of an angle is defined to be the, the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side. So in this case, we're going to have that, well, tangent of 30 degrees. That's going to equal, again, the opposite side. So we'll just call it maybe O for opposite um, over the adjacent side. But we know that's 2,000. Actually, let's don't use O for opposite because it looks uh, it looks like a zero to me. So let's just call this height y, and we'll make this a y, and everything will be a little less confusing. So try to use some better notation. OK, so we have tangent of 30 degrees. That equals y over 2,000. Again, simply to get the y by itself, we can just multiply both sides uh, by 2,000. So if we multiply both sides by 2,000, uh, we'll get the 2,000 on the left, just like we did. But if we multiply um, on the right, they're just going to cancel out, so we get the y by itself. So that's all we're doing there. And now, again, this is something that I would just want to uh, plug into a calculator. So again, at this point, make sure your calculator's in degree mode. So let's see, tangent of 30 degrees, um, let's see. So I'm going to approximate this now. So tangent of 30 degrees uh, is approximately 0.577. So that's roughly going to be the height of our uh, balloon here. So now if we simply take 0.577 and multiply that by 2,000, I'm getting 1154. So it says the height of this balloon is going to be roughly equal to 1,154 feet.